So let's do it. So, Hi everyone, thank you for joining me and welcome to my channel. This is your reading for, uh, for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising and for the transit of Chiron and Aries. I'm excited to explain it to you guys. And I'm going to do an extended, which is a pyramid spread using this deck on Vimeo. That is going to be on two playlists, depending on which one you bought the buy all option. It's going to be in the super duper playlist for 2019. That's the one that has a love reading and a Lenormand reading. And I'm going to put it in the February playlist that has your February monthly as well as your 2019 love overview preview that is going to be available on YouTube. Um, in March so all the links down are down below so you basically get one of two options but hey girl hey look what you got I'll just honor this two of cups and the wise woman interesting the lo the love of the high priestess yay that's me that's me giving you some love I'm gonna take that away actually my Venus is in cancer so if you have Venus in cancer this is this is your card uh, this is ruled by Venus in cancer so I feel like that's like me trying to give you guys more for February. It's actually like something I didn't plan. Let's talk about the astrology though, hey? Um, so you this transit actually lasts seven years. It started last year, kind of, but really starts this year and ends up in uh, 2026. Um, so, and for you that's significant, especially in the first part because Chiron right here is at the top of your chart. So you want to always look at what's on top of your chart. And this is relevant for Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, there's other videos explaining why I'll explain another time. But there's, at the top of your chart, Chiron is conjunct the MC. So what this represents is that this is a time at the forefront of your life front and center, there's Chiron and Aries questioning Cancer, who are you? And that's really interesting because the North Node is with one of your transits, at least for the first year and a half of this transit. So big questions about who you really are. You're really defining things. I see some Cancers really getting ahead of themselves. Um, and, and maybe there will be, I feel like there will be a step to take you back you know that's the Chiron and Aries one little caveat about Chiron is it's it's a minor planet or it's an asteroid it I forgot now there's a real destriction I think it's an asteroid anyway um what it it has a long elliptical course and it's longest in in um, Pisces and in Aries but the but the point is uh Chiron is not this in terms of experience when Chiron is in Aries uh, or in any placement. It's not necessarily going to bring certain events into your life. It's going to bring your awareness to a certain set of experiences that you have gone through in your life. So it's awareness to your life about something. Mm -hmm. And so your identity in some way is being impacted by this transit. Who am I? I am is the Aries motto and so Chiron in Aries is like who am I what do I represent you know and it's for you in the 10th house so that's career and your public public persona public status so you're going to be feeling a lot of this kind of like it's time to tell people who you truly are cancer and I think that may, many of over, over the last few years many of the comments about uh, cancer that I've heard they were like um, they're very complicated and and there's a lot of stuff that we don't get about them and I think that that might be reflected by the transit of uh, Chiron in Pisces in which for the last seven years or so you were hidden you were very hidden in the it, hidden in terms of your mind and what was actually going on and so this is this needs to happen right now it's a once in 50 years transit or once in 50 years transit that in some way makes you question how you've been living your life and who you are in the world and and basically how that relates to everything else so maybe you have been kind of hiding certain aspects of who you have become and so through experiences of Chiron and Aries of really paying attention of 
where you are shortchanging your identity, where you are living at 50%, where you are not telling people who you are and therefore missing opportunities in relationships. Now this is coming to the forefront and it's going to feel like pinpricks sometimes. It's going to feel like in some ways you are not fully authentic to who you are and you're going to feel regret like, oh, I miss being friends with Bobby because I didn't really tell him how I felt because it was just too complicated. So it's in one way, it's a sour transit because it does make us feel a little sour. But in the positive side, it brings us awareness to kind of help us emerge. Without the without the sour, the sweet wouldn't be as sweet and it wouldn't motivate us to do better. So be happy. This is the Karma Tarot. This is the first deck I read with on YouTube and I love it. Let's take a look at our cards. So your first message is the Four of Coins. And so what this represents is that there is some type of resistance that you've been feeling towards progress. And this is almost like, you know, it's almost like wearing a dress that's too tight and knowing that you can't like you go to an event and suddenly your dress is too tight and and you know that you can't sit a certain way in it so you end up sitting like this she's sitting like i cannot freaking move that's the four of pentacles it's like you've put yourself in a bit of a situation in which you can't change the orientation of how you've set things up for yourself and so it's reaching the five of swords it's not working you know um and and soon soon you are going to you know um so this is actually saying entre libre which is like uh liberty to enter you know like it's right be, you need to find a way to enter into the new field right freedom freedom to enter right or to be to be so 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 in a certain sense you are challenging because the dress it's like you're wearing the dress and then you know it's like never again never again am i gonna wear that dress because it's cumbersome and it's uncomfortable and i learned my lesson about eating mcdonald's for the week before i have an event and not trying the dress on you know and it's and it's like it's like the it's it's basically like a harsh harsh lesson but it, you only feel it it's not necessary nothing nothing necessarily is going to happen but like you feel it it's like you've been shortchanging yourself in some way and now you are going to make a big decision hey girl hey i love when it does that so judgment big decision never again cancer and it's like okay well this is a 7 year transit so how are you going to how are you going to come at that? How are you going to change that to make it work for your life a bit better? The seven of wands is like, believe in yourself, Cancer. This is the north node. You have such a nice transit. I just realized this. The north node is like the focus on the self, right? The focus on your personality. And Chiron is like knowing that you are not doing as well for yourself as you think you should. And so I feel like this is like, this is added confidence for the next year and a half. And look, Juno is going to move in here. She moves quite quickly, but she will be here in this position through the spring and the summer. So you are going to feel like a little bit of umph. And I suggest that you confront it. I suggest that you confront the energy. Just as a heads up, the the nodes are going to square, square Chiron in 2020 in January. That's when if you don't address some of these things now, it's going to get really intense. And I think it's going to get intense either way. It's going to still feel like a cluster of consequences. But for all of us, not just you, but if you address it a little bit right now, if you say to yourself, okay, I am shortchanging myself because I am doing things I'm I'm living at 30%, I'm living at 60%. Let's let's try to make a commitment to open up a little bit more and fight for what I believe um and and open myself to possibilities that reflect who I am on the inside. Then that square is going to feel much less intense. 7 of coins, figuring out a strategy of how you can make it work vis-a-vis -vis other people and other situations. So you're going to very much be thinking about how to make it 
happen and a relationship evolves for you um, through this period. Now this reading is going to be up for like seven years so it depends on where you are watching. If you are watching at a certain point in time, congratulations, like um, this is this is going to be the outcome depending on where you're watching. So if you're watching in 2023, you could be still here over there. You've caught the video at the right time um, but the outcome is the Ace of Cups, a new relationship to yourself, a new relationship to the people that you are are, you know the people that you're interacting with. So the Ace of Cups is a new relationship, a new friendship, all of those things. So once you make a decision, you need to figure out how you're going to be more free, how you are going to avoid this uncomfortable situation ever again, and and not get kind of, not turn your back on like facing that you just made a mistake. There's a, there's a little bit of a denial here that's going on, I think, initially, in which you're like, I didn't do anything wrong, so, or I'm the victim, and, and I didn't do anything, so you're kind of putting yourself in a weird position in terms of the ability to affect change in your life. So I think once you get frustrated enough and you come to terms with the fact that you kind of made some decisions about saying who you are or believing who you are about yourself that were off off base and you've got yourself in a pickle like um, you, you've gotten yourself in a pickle by positioning yourself with the wrong people and the wrong social situations that's the summary right there and so this is a, the call to action is to redefine who you are cancer and redefine who you truly are and take some L's there you know you got to take some L's because if you're lying about who you are or if you're lying to yourself in some way then I feel like uh, then I feel like uh, if you're lying about who you are, if you're lying to yourself in some way, then I feel like uh, there will be um, the push for you to come to terms with that. And that doesn't mean that you're a liar or anything. It's just the push is for authenticity. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining me. Remember, I did an extended for this on the super duper bonus playlist that is available down below as well as your February 2019 uh, playlist if you're watching in February. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.